Hi everybody, it's Cindy from Asner Cindy with Day 4 Carnivore. So welcome, as you guys are hopping on, we have a special guest today, Nisha Salas Berry, wife of Dr. Ken Berry, and it's all her fault that I'm doing this. So my sister, Debbie Stokes, it's all her fault that I am keto, and it's all Nisha's fault that I'm going to try this carnivore, but I'm, you know, I want you to notice that my glasses match my... I'm gonna to try to see how to do this. I've never actually done a live video where, whoops, where I I bring someone else in. I've been interviewed, but I've never done this. So Nisha told me I would be fine, and I don't know if I believe her. So Nisha, if you're here, I have no idea how to find you. Hmm, oh, let me see if that's you. Is that you up there? How do I know if that's you? Hmm. Hello, everyone. Hi, Heather. How are you? Heather and my sister, Debbie. Uh, let me see if I see Nisha yet. Is that... I can't see. I don't know if that's you. I don't think that's you, Nisha. So, hi, everybody. Hi, Debbie. Happy birthday from yesterday. It was my sister's birthday yesterday. So, day four, carnivore. Let me see if I can find Nisha. Nisha, Nisha, Nisha. Are you there? Hmm. I don't see her yet. I don't see her yet. Oh, good, Heather. I'm glad you're doing well. Looking forward to um, keto, low carb keto, uh, low carb keto. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's sort of a misnomer. Low carb KC. So I'm on day four of keto. Of keto. Uh, keto. Good lord. I'm trying to look for Nisha. Hi, Steve. My brother Steve Davis, who's also an RN. He's on. Um, hmm. I don't think any of that's you. So I don't see Nisha yet. If anybody of you have Nisha's cell phone. And Jen Dillard, my sister in love, how are you? And hi, Sandra. Okay, Deborah Ann, hi, Deborah Ann, how are you? And Candy. Oh, where is Nisha? Nisha, where are you? Hmm. There she is. What does that mean? There she is. Ah, there you are. Now, how do I do this? So I, I see you, but I don't know what to do with you. You said there was a text, there was a, a thing there that I was supposed to push, a plus button. I don't know what to do. I knew this was this was not a good thing. Uh, guest requests, allow your viewers to request to join you. I don't see, oh wait, maybe, nope. I don't see that. Poo. All right, Nisha, you gotta type in and tell me what I need to be doing. I know you're here, I don't know how to add you, that's my problem. Uh, plus two, let me see if you are. Nope, 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 nope. Click on her name, okay, thank you. Let me see. I'm clicking on her name and all I see are likes and stuff. Scroll back up. Scroll back up to where? I see my sister up at the very top. Click down on, hold down on me. Okay. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Let's see what I what I have here. No, don't see that. Okay, where'd, I, where'd you go? Ah, uh, na 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 na. Now I've lost you. Hold on, I'll find you. Hi, everybody. Well, come, bear with me. Hold down. Ah, block. No, I don't want to block you. I want to pin the comment either. Hold down on me, and it should give you an option. It says pin, delete, or block. That's all it says. Poo. Poo, poo, poo. I told you this. I, I warned you that I was not good at this. Debbie Stokes, Steve Davis, Heather. I don't see anybody that I... I don't see you on my ad list up at the top. Poo. Nisha, have you liked my page? Are you are you a liker and a follower? Um, maybe that's it. Because I see my sister. I can add my sister. I can add Heather. I can add a bunch of stuff. But I don't see you. Hi, Steve. Click on her message. I did, Heather. I clicked on it. And it's not... It's... Click on her message. It just says pin, comment, or block. It does not give me a different option. So hi everybody, carnivore. What is carnivore while we're trying to figure this out? It is where you don't eat any vegetables. Yes, Steve, you're listed there, but I'm not adding you in. I'm trying to add Nisha in. Um, I'm open for suggestions, guys. Debbie, Steve, I'm looking at all the people I can add. I can add Debbie Stokes, Steve Davis, my mom and dad, Heather, Jen Dillard, and Kathy, but Nisha, you're not there. I know, ugh, I told you this was not good. We should have done that test. Phone may not be in the right way. Does that mean I need to turn it? That's not gonna work. I know, ugh, I know Nisha. Bring Nisha on camera. Okay, hold on, now it's. 
<laughs> so it says I'm adding you. It says adding. It says connecting. Yay, Yay Nisha. See, I'm technologically challenged. So thank you. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? What's Good. Looks like we're both in our studios, a.k.a. our cars. Our cars, yeah. I was, I guess a nurse thing. I was all excited because I had set up like a little studio area in my house for the first time. Could not find my tripod. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I was at a keto. We had a keto San Antonio Connect today at 11. And so it's something we do once a month, the keto San Antonio group. And so I looked down. It was 1 o'clock. I was like, crap, I don't even know where my tripod is. It's somewhere safe. It's very safe. So welcome. Are you guys going somewhere? Uh, no, I'm going to a friend's house. Ken is in Alabama visiting his dad, so I'm all by myself today. Whoop, party time. <laughs> yeah, I've, so, I've been that, shopping and done some damage. Oh, see, this is a good thing. Yeah. When the boys are away, you can go out and play. That's right, that's right. That's good. Well, Nisha, I know that a lot of my folks know you and follow you, but tell them a little bit about who you are and what prompted you to start keto. Mine was for weight loss. Um, but why did you start doing I know you're married to Dr. Barry, so almost by default, but what, what personally prompted you? Well, yeah, like you said, I'm Nisha Barry. I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for almost 13 years. That's crazy to me. That's amazing. Um, I've been 40, okay? So I'm, I've been a nurse longer wow. than you've been around, so don't tell anyone. <laughs> That's our secret, okay? Right. We both started when we were 12, so it's fine. Um, so I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Itis, and uh, I had been taking uh, Nature Throid for a while, trying to help with my symptoms, and it just wasn't really actually, I mean, it was working, but it wasn't fixing my problem, mm-hmm. and na- so, so you had I, symptoms, you were like tired, or what was, what were some of your symptoms that you felt oh, weren't going yeah. away? I had brain, brain fog, I, I was basically an idiot 90% of the time, but not an idiot, but I just would be like, um, 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 all the time, exhausted, go from the bed to the couch, I just overall felt like a shadow of my former self, it's very frustrating, mm-hmm. Yeah. and I thought it was normal for a while, I was just like, this is just part of, you know, over being over 30, everything, yeah. you know, everybody says, you know, things start to change, you start to gain weight, like, you know, life changes, whatever, but then I was yeah. like, I sat down, and I was like, you know what, this is not normal, I refuse to believe that this is normal, so, right. started doing some research, and Ken was doing keto, and I got mono on top of everything, and I was You got mono on top of the, oh my, wow, yeah, so you so decided to join the bandwagon, Wow, and right. has it and helped? I got over my yeah. mono in like a week. Wow, yeah. it's crazy. Well, you, so for those of you that are wondering why, serious about it. Wow. Well, you know, it really does help your immune system function better when you're using ketones as your fuel, doesn't it? Yeah, apparently it worked for me. <laughs> Apparently, so what prompted you? You, you, good success on keto. Energy's coming back. You're still treating it with the, the armor. But what prompted the whole carnivore? I know Ken's, Dr. Barry's been doing carnivore for a while now. What, what prompted you to? Because yeah. it's all your fault that I'm doing this for two weeks. I may go longer, but I've committed to my team, my people, for two weeks. Well, um, Kim Howerton, our good friend Kim Howerton, did carnivore for a month, so I kind of got inspired by her. And then I also listened to Amber um, O'Hare, I think is yes. her last name, and uh, yep. Peter, Peter Balstat. And, like, everything they said just kind of made a lot of sense in the way that we sh- maybe should be more eating the carnivore type way. Maybe not 100% carnivore, but more meat, less veg. Mm-hmm. And even to the point that P- Peter says that you can save the world by being a carnivore because all the farming has essentially like gotten rid of all the topsoil and so it's ironic that being mm-hmm. a vegan is killing the planet in, a, in this theory and that being a carnivore could possibly save the planet so all that together and I just heard that it could hack your hormones and I just thought I'll give it a whirl and I want to be able to tell people my 100% from experience opinion instead of being like oh well you know, whatever, because people ask about it all the time. So I'd like yes. to educate people. Yes, 
Right, and that's why I joined you is because I had gone, I was talking to my sister, Debbie Stokes, who you met on the cruise. So say hi to Debbie. It was her birthday yesterday. Hi, yeah. Debbie. I know we're gonna. I know we're gonna. I, and I wish I could come with you guys on the Keto 101 cruise, but I'll see you guys next May on the one out in New Jersey. But um, so let's make sure we level set for the folks that don't really understand what carnivore is. Carnivore. Think of a carnivorous animal. They eat animal. That is what they eat. So we can be what you call an omnivore. We can eat plant or we can eat animal-based foods. But a carnivore diet means that basically. If it has eyes or had eyes or could have eyes like an egg, that's what we're eating, you and I, right? Right. And I'm, I'm incorporating a little bit of cheese, and I'm still using heavy whipping cream. It's modified. Modified carnivore is what they call it. But even Me too. Again, yeah, me too. Not, not giving up my coffee, and I have a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream in it. Yep. Yeah, but I'm still not using very much heavy whipping cream, and I'm not using a lot of cheese. Just when I'm like, i got to have uh, something a little extra. But, yeah, yeah. yeah, mostly same here. So how about I was gonna say, how about your sweeteners? What are you doing with your monk fruit or your stevia or nothing? That's so that's hard. been the hard one for me. That one's been the hard one for me. The coffee I'm getting used to, I, I like it without sweetener. Iced more than personally more than I do hot without sweetener. Yeah, I do better with just iced tea that's unsweetened more than the coffee. It's like. I just, you know, I miss my sweetener. I do, too. I do, too, which is why this is this is probably, as of day four, probably not going to be a lifetime for me. But I have enjoyed making myself not have – where I, I – really, my sister and I were talking on the cruise that we don't – I've naturally just sort of decreased my vegetables over time. So that step wasn't really a big step for me to choose to join you on this for the first two weeks, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but giving up the sweeteners and my almond flour, like my breads and my keto treats, that was a big decision for me. That's where I was really hesitant. Right. And I, I, I don't love carnivore, but I do love how I'm feeling. But I don't love mm. not being able to eat a more variety of meat at this time. That might change by right. the end of the month. I don't know. But right, right. the funny thing is what I want to cheat with is like Brussels sprouts or, you know, <laughs> things, that, things that aren't actually bad for me. So it's, right. it's kind of funny right. that I'm like, oh, I can't cheat with that. But right. it's just keto. It's still not bad for me. So, I mean, I could and it wouldn't really be that big of a deal. Right. So how's it been? Has it been harder than you thought it would be or, or less hard or about what it's you thought? It's been less hard than what I thought, mm -hmm. but it's still hard. Yeah. And it's not yeah. easy. So what you said, you like how you feel. What are you feeling today? Because you were keto before. So what are you feeling now on your fourth day of carnivore compared to when you were doing keto? Well, I've lost three pounds. Hot thing, I girl. Know. That's amazing. I know. And I'm not doing this to lose weight, but that was like, I just wanted to see, to doc documentation-wise, you know, what would happen. And I was like, what? what now I'm up, I'm up to... I'm up to the first day I got on the scales all excited, up to, and it just sort of stayed there. But I know that it's just, I'm 61, you're you're a baby, and I know that my, my insulin resistance was present for a long time. So I'm okay with that for right now. A friend of mine online said that she started like five days before us, and it took her about five or six days, and then she started dropping some weight. So good for you for losing some weight. So you like that. What else do you like about it? Uh, my energy level seems to be higher. I'm extremely productive. You know, I'm daily vlogging. That is hard. I, I literally yeah. I record all day long, then I edit, and then I post every single wow. day. And I'm like, that's a lot. And then I'm also on Facebook trying to do Facebook Lives and Instagram Lives and answer everybody's questions. And be on, I have a book club that I'm doing, too. And I'm, I'm just very productive right now. And it's wow. not a pain. Like, even on keto, I would have days where I'd be like, I'm just tired. And so mm -hmm. far, I've had a really good energy level, and I'm not waking up in the middle of the night. Like, I always wow. wake up once a night, every single night, and I've slept every night all the way through the night. Wow, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, you're, you're, I'm, I'm feeling, it was, for me, it was easier than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be harder than it has been so far. I did stare longingly right. at almonds last night, the almonds in the pantry. I stared longingly at them, and then I told myself to go to bed. 
And so I went to bed. Um, I'm sleeping well, too. I ended up with a kidney stone yesterday, girlfriend. I was not a happy girl. Oh, no. Well, I know it wasn't Carno. So, of course, the first thing your body, your your mind, which wants you to go back to having those almonds or those keto treats, was like, it's the carnivore diet. But then I thought through it. I thought, well, stones don't happen in, in 72 hours. And right. I didn't really increase my protein, maybe just a little bit. I really just sort of stripped out the veggies and, and the almond flour and stuff. So there's no yeah. way that caused it, but it sort of threw me for a loop yesterday. Didn't I didn't go off carnivore. I just had to drink tons and tons of liquid and take some ibuprofen. And it, it eventually I had it, it was about 12 or 14 hours. If you, you know patients, how excruciating that is. I told my husband, I said, yeah. go ahead and eat breakfast now because you and I are probably headed to the ER. I didn't end up going, but I was able to just, because I know what they do. Maybe start an IV, maybe do an IVP or, you know, a KUV or something. But yeah. I just hydrated, called my doctor, my family practice one here in San Antonio, and just basically hydrated the heck out and passed it. But anyway, other than that, little sidebar, it, I have a history of them. I've had, I've had, last one was about 15 years ago. So I can't really tell you about the energy yesterday, <laughs> but today I'm, I'm I'm hilarious. And my husband looked at me, and goes, "Holy smokes!" He says, "You were like, whit, 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 whit. <laughs> yeah. so yeah, lots of energy today. So, so you yeah. um you're gonna do the whole month. Um, you know that's that's the goal, and I don't think <laughs> that I will ever do a full month again. But I'm only three days in. Like, at the end of the month, I might be like, this is the best thing ever. I mean, I don't know. That's yeah. why I'm documenting every day on YouTube yeah. just so I can go back and see what I actually thought. Yeah. But I definitely think that I could throw a week week or two into my keto every yeah. now and then. Sort of like a fast or something or to sort of shake up yeah. your body and, and to get it like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, because I think one of the things that I've noticed that I lost the 75 pounds, you know, 70 pretty quickly in the first year. And then this past year, it's just been finally got to the 75 after the cruise. Debbie and I both came back from the cruise down a couple of pounds. And I think it was because we, know. isn't that funny? Isn't that, the, most yeah. people gain, most people gain a pound a day on the cruise, on any cruise. Yeah. And we came back lower. But I think I ate different foods, the escargot, the lobster, all that stuff that we ate. Um yeah. So maybe I'll use this as something to sort of shake up my body. As a woman, I worry a little bit about extended low-calorie fast where your water and bone broth, worry about my muscle mass and stuff. But I think this might be something I could do here and there. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel the same way. Um, start. I think I might integrate some a little bit of weightlifting in with this diet because I, I'm not hungry most of the time. Now, yesterday mm -hmm. I was pretty hungry, but the first day I was not hungry, and today I'm not hungry. But... Uh, I just, you know, I don't want to like shrivel away to nothing at the same time. And I, you know, I don't have much of a butt to begin with. So I'm going to have to like start yeah. squatting so that I. Yeah, you know, do the potty like squats like I do. <laughs> yeah. Or papa squats. I, I've been told by my daughters I can't call them potty squatties. But when I go to the bathroom, I do those squats, you know, after I get everything put to yeah. rights. And, and that, those yeah. really have helped. Yeah, I, most of us online don't have the problem with I don't have much of a butt. That's not something I've ever said out loud to a soul. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, so let's, um, any any advice for folks? I'm going to look at uh, some of the questions, uh, Nisha. What, what, um, would you, what advice would you give them? I would stock your refrigerator with a variety of meats. Like, you don't have to just stick with beef. You can eat beef. You can eat pork. Um, you can eat d a duck if you can if you have access to duck. You can eat lamb chops. Like there's plenty of variety of meats, and there's different ways to cook your meats. I mean, you can yes. have a variety of different ways of eating this diet, and you can make Alfredo mm -hmm. sauce if you need something to do because Alfredo sauce is basically just cheese and heavy whipping cream, and that's it. Yeah. So if you need, like, I need a dipping sauce, so I'm probably going to make some Alfredo sauce in this coming week to add into my mm -hmm. meats. But I tell you that what, is... man, Peterson's has, like, the best chorizo and the best kielbasa mm. I've ever had in my life, and we ate it last night. Holy crap, was, their meat is good. Was it amazing? So Peterson's is P-E-D-E-R-S-O-N, or is it S-E-N, Peterson's? S O N and I'm they're I'm pretty sure it's all non GMO and like no sugar added bacon and no I've heard that they're added. sold at Sprouts and Whole Foods. So if you have a Sprouts or a Whole Foods next to you or near you, then that's where you could find them. 
Yeah, so here's some of the things, Nisha, I'm thinking about, because I was thinking the same thing. Am I going to get bored with this? Because I think the boredom, A, that'd be great if I just don't eat because I'm bored with it. Uh, that'd be fine to just sort of naturally yeah. just only eat when I'm hungry versus eat out of habit. But secondly, I was thinking these things. I was thinking um, we have this recipe for a crustless taco pie that uh, you'd use a little bit of taco seasoning. You could really cut that down. But it really, by if you strip out the salsa and the green onions, you can, which I have to do anyway because I'm allergic to onions, that would be a really great dish. I'll repost that recipe. And then you could also make little quiches. You could make little quiche tartlets or make a quiche with meat. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that would be with good. With pork skins. And, yeah, you can use pork rinds for uh, breading. If you wanted chicken strips True. and you're True. doing carnivore, like bread it with butter and pork Ooh. rinds. And there you go, chicken Oh, that's strips. a good idea. And you could even you could even whip up an egg and dip your stuff in there. I was thinking about um, making some chicken wings. And I've got, I bought, you know that Copper Chef brand? I bought this thing on the, the Amazon Prime Day where it's a big square like fryer with a little fryer thing in it. And I thought I would yeah. get some chicken wings. I saw a recipe chicken wings and then after you fried them you you and do it in lard or um i'm going to use lard because we don't want to do coconut oil or avocado oil or any That's type of uh, olive oil carnivore. during this during this carnivore because they come from plants but anyway then you brush them with uh butter melted butter and then you sprinkle parmesan cheese over it that sounds good oh i might do that tonight that sounds really really good <laughs> does that sound yummy I thought, ooh, yeah. I can, you know, and salt, of course, is not, we're not afraid of salt. Salt is our friend. So I'm looking okay. through, and I don't really see any big questions. Let me see if anybody, if anybody has any questions and you typed it in a while ago, go ahead and retype it in because there's so many comments there. Um, I'm interested in how kind of we're eating. Where my blog was. It's, it's on YouTube. I'm vlogging, video vlogging. So it's vlogging. It's on YouTube, and I'm sure Nurse Indy. V-L-O-G, yeah. Yes, I will. So thanks for taking. Yes. Yeah, so Nisha, do you desire meats other than beef? Seems like you and Doc only eat beef. I know. I know. Ken, Doctor Barry is quite quite the beefaholic. I actually prefer pork over beef. Yeah. So, um, pork is like the Petersons sausages and the chorizo like that and bacon like that's what I would prefer over steak. Yeah, the bacon. Like. Bacon is, thank God for bacon on this. I'll post the recipe, Leanne, about the taco seasoning. We're both wearing stripes. Isn't that funny? And we did oh not even. Gosh. Isn't that funny that somebody noticed that? We did not. That's funny. We did not coordinate. All I was doing was in a panic before we got on. I was saying, Nisha, I've never done it where I invite someone. Oh, my God. Oh, why carnivore versus keto is from Heather. So, Heather, um, for right now, I'm personally doing it to try to sort of switch up the game. I've been doing keto for two years. I've gotten a little lackadaisical about the um, almond bread and some of the almond treats. Um, I don't have them every day, but I think I could just tighten it up a little bit and see if I could sort of switch things up. And Nisha, you did it for about the same or to see how you just uh, experienced it? Pretty much. And, and, and really, most of it was because I don't like telling people, answering people about carnivore yeah. without actually knowing what I'm talking about. I like to have an educated opinion, and I feel like to have an educated opinion, I need to experience it and know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Right, right. Um, so we, that that's good. Same here, because how can I give anybody an, uh, an opinion? And, and even after that, it'll just be my experience, just like it'll be your experience, right. Nisha. Um, we have uh, good – I'm glad so, – let's see, I'm sorry, I missed the name – Oh, uh, God, put these back on. Brenda, she's going to be, she's a counselor. She's, she likes to hear our experience. So once she gets settled in back to school, uh, Ligia, I think I'm saying that right. Ligia or Ligia keeps getting acid stomach. What to do? Now that's an interesting one because I don't really know other than to make sure that you're not, dr- I would recommend to consider not drinking liquids with your meal because it can cause your stomach to be over full and cause a little bit of reflux back up. Uh, do you know how Dr. Barry would answer that one, Nisha? Um, most of the time he, he says just, you know, take a look at what you're eating, uh, and see if it could be what you're eating. Um, I don't know what your diet consists of, but like, for instance, if you're eating more dairy, when you have the acid reflux, then maybe you should stop eating dairy. You know, it's just, that's one of those like really broad. Yeah, it's a broad one. It could be anything really. 
Right. And, of course, Nisha and I are both registered nurses. We're not MDs. We're certainly not yours. We're giving you our opinions and our experiences and not here to diagnose, treat, or cure or give you guys specific medical advice. But I have heard from, like, one of the things Maria Emmerich says is to not drink a lot of liquids when you're eating because it, the gastric acids that you need to really help you digest the food so you can pull those vital nutrients out. When you're drinking a lot, it dilutes your gastric acids. So um, that, that's something to consider and maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe you need to eat a little bit slower. Hard to say, like you said, Nisha, it's a really broad and deep topic. So... Um, yeah, so Sherry's been on five days, and she's down six and a half pounds. Oh, my God, Sherry, congrats. Woo-hoo, Woo-hoo and we're jealous. I'm jealous. All right, so hi, Audrey. Let's see, Amanda, I make cheese bread. She makes cheese bread with eggs, cheese butter, and garlic powder. Yep. Um, Amanda, you should post I that recipe. I have a list of things to do because that's definitely carnivore, and I bet it's yeah. delicious. That's right. I love it. That's right. Can you take bile salts while... I can't bile salts while doing it. You know, it comes from an ox. <laughs> it comes from an ox. True, if you don't, true. if you don't have, yeah, if you don't have a gallbladder, yeah, if you don't have a gallbladder and you you're eating fatty meats and it's causing you some problems, it might be that you need to. I know that Dr. Heather was on. I don't know if she's still with us, but she can. Um, she's a really excellent on bile and ox bile and, and gastric acid. So, Heather, if you don't mind um, answering what you would think of that, but I don't think it's going to impact your you, – if you need to have digestive enzymes, by all means, don't let this um, – did we – no, we didn't plan our outfits, but we're so cute anyway. Um, what causes kidney stones? Well, that's a great question. Most of them are a calcium oxalate um, where the calcium ions bind to other byproducts as your body's filtering them out. And uh, that's the most common reason. So there's ways that you can avoid that. You can Google that. I, I did a lot of Googling yesterday, Nisha. I haven't had a kidney stone in so long. And I was l- learning all sorts of things that um, lemon juice or lemon oil, if you like essential oils, that can help. Um, but I was yeah. popping the frankincense and, and doing lemongrass and lavender back on my flank where it hurt so bad. But thank goodness hydration, it, I just passed on out. Um, so Emily says, interested in what it does to your hormones. I was going to do the challenge, but I'm going to wait. She's going to wait for a little while and see how we do. Um, I don't really know other than getting enough – look at my crazy here. Getting enough uh, fats will certainly help your body produce your sex hormones and your other hormones as well. Yeah, we'll see. I had my base, yeah. uh, baseline labs drawn before I started carnivore. That way I can redo them um, when this is over and just kind of see what effect it really had on the body. That was smart. Yeah, that was really smart to do that. I've got mine from like a month ago when I came out and saw your husband as a patient. So maybe I, that's a really good idea. I'll be about, about due to have them retested anyway. Can you make fried chicken and bacon oil? I haven't. Have you? I, I use lard when I do fried chicken. How about you? Can, you can, but I, yeah, I use, I use lard just because it's uh, you can buy it in bulk. Very inexpensive. It does have a little hydrogenated, uh, the one I get at Walmart, but I haven't found any. I haven't gone online to look for non-hydrogenated. Have you? Uh, I don't know where our, our Ken Berry bought that, so I don't know. Uh, where Ken Berry bought that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my sister Debbie just said she cut out the keto sweet snacks and almond flour before the cruise, and she's lost 20 pounds in three months. I'm so proud of her. Yeah, she's done great. She's doing great. Um, how about apple cider vinegar? How do you feel about it? I've mixed feelings about apple cider vinegar. I'm not. I'm certainly not doing it during carnivore because apples don't have eyes. Right. Uh, yeah. It's got health benefits for sure. Yeah. But I don't know that they're as, um, you know, whoa as people act like they are. People give that. They act like it's apple cider vinegar is magic. I don't know that it's that magic. I'm sure that there are benefits to it, but if you don't drink it for 30 days, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. No, I don't think it's going to be a big deal either. Um, uh, somebody asked, Nisha, are, you, are either of us doing intermittent fasting as well as carnivore? How about you? Um, I don't, I don't like label it intermittent fasting. I eat when I'm hungry. So there are days when I don't eat till four and there are days when I eat when I wake up, like, but I, I don't plan it mm-hmm. and I'm not doing it purposefully. I just listen to right. my body and if I'm hungry, I eat and if I'm not hungry, I don't eat. And that's the way I do it too. So I, I, um, 
I've done two three day fasts and, and neither of them I felt I did not feel well afterwards. It took me a while to get over it. Um, so I'm I'm just more of the opinion that if it takes me two more years to get this last 20 off because it's a lifestyle for me, I try to I, I have hung, what I would call hungry days where I really my stomach's growling and I'm like oh my god I'm hungry I feed it. And I have days that I get busy and like you, I look up. I don't know if I've ever gone to four before I eat unless I'm intentionally doing it. But I'll be one or two o'clock in the afternoon. I'll go, huh, have you eaten today? Huh. Yeah. What a yeah. change from for me, for me from two years ago where I constantly thought about food and constantly um, ate just cyclically all the time. This is a big victory to be able to not even, to forget about eating. So it's great. Well, good. Yeah. So let's see. What's your opinion on IGF-1 as a protein and carbs promote this? I have no idea. IGF-1. That sounds like, uh, I don't. That's a opinion. question for Dr. Ken Vincent. That's Great right. question. Right. This is my head, and that just went way. <laughs> Jerry's lost two pounds since Monday. Congrats, Jerry. That's fantastic. Uh, Dory tells you hi, Vincent. Let's see. I uh, wanted to do a challenge but wasn't ready for the sweet. I know. Lack of sweetener is my biggest thing. Um, heck, Wal heck, Walmart again. I found clean lard there. Oh, good. I'm going to go look again. Bacon fat for fried chicken. Somebody does that, so that answers that question. Um, Linda's on day two missing her vegetables, but she's hanging in for a while. Yeah, there's. you know what? If I had someone feel bad because they had five slices of zucchini, I was like, hey, it's fine. it was zucchini. It wasn't five donuts. It's okay. Right. We're just doing just an experiment. Get you, yeah. Huh? Get back on tomorrow. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, and it's just an experiment. We'll see. Both of us are, are undecided, I think, is what I heard you say. Well, I think it's yeah. going to be a tool that I use, but for me personally, um, I don't think it will be a lifestyle for me. But we'll see. Like you said, I may change my mind, but I'd be surprised right, if right. I do. Yeah, but okay. I, don't, I, don't mind, I don't mind mixing it up. So um, I've been telling folks, I've been tracking my blood sugars and my ketones. My fasting this morning was 110, which was ticking me off. And my daughter, Rachel, and my sister both said, you had a kidney stone yesterday. You probably still got a lot of inflammation. I was like, oh, okay. So I, I retested it before I came out, and I was down to 90, and my uh, ketones are 1.6. So I'll take that. Well, there you and I'm, I'm, sort of, yeah. I'm sort of treating those. Now, do you have to test either? Of course not. I'm doing it just to see how my body, my 61-year-old insulin-resistant body responds to carnivore because I think we all have become almost afraid of protein, especially as women. It's not very feminine to eat a yeah. big old steak. It's like we're supposed to be eating salads and lettuce. And chicken, but, grilled chicken. And grilled chicken without any skin or all that stuff. So I just wanted to see how I was responding and if it was causing me to have – so I'll check after a meal. I've been checking it fasting, and then at least once a day I've been checking my blood glucose. I only check the ketones once a day, but I've been checking my blood glucose an hour and a half after each meal, hour to hour and a half, just to see, just for me, for my experiment, to see if am I spiking my insulin high, and I haven't. So that's that's comforting to me. That so let's, yeah, it is. So I, I I feel good about that. Well, lots more questions. I'm not going as fast. Um, as, as others are typing in. Oh, which ketone meter did I get? Um, I used the Keto Mojo. I got that at KetoCon. They had a good deal. So keto-mojo.com, and they'll be happy to sell you one. And it tests both ketones and glucose. Yep. Yeah, I like Keto Mojos. Yep. Oh, my sister. My sister says that you can ask pseudo nurse Debbie. My, Debbie, you're a hoot. Yeah, we're going to call her RN wannabe. Uh, let's see. <laughs> when you forget to eat, it's called the dementia diet. <laughs> uh, oh my! So, any other questions uh, or answer or answers? Any any uh, advice for folks that are thinking about it or doing it? Hello. I think everybody's just like tuning in. <laughs> yeah. So as we. Um, we're going to close on out because, really, this is a very, very, very easy eating plan. If it had eyes or it's going to have eyes, like an egg, no eyes yet, but going to have eyes if it hatched, you can eat it. Eat the animal, <laughs> eat the animal fat. Um, eat your meat. Eat your meat. Eat your fat. Don't, don't over-consume it to the point that you're stuffed, but eat to satiety as we would with anything low-carb and 
if you enjoy it, you can continue it. And if it's not for you or you know from the get-go, oh, heck no, I'm going to stick keto, yeah. which, which That's is fine. a gun. That's okay. This is fine. Yeah. This, is our, fine. this is our chance to uh, go where the big boys play. Although there's some women out there that have been carnivore for quite a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, we'll see for us. I'm glad we did this. I am do too. Again. Yeah. Do you have any words of wisdom for them in parting? Any Nisha isn't. Just uh, keto on, and if you fall off, just get back on. Don't stress. That raises your cortisol. Cortisol makes you gain weight. We yep. don't need cortisol in our life. Everybody, you're doing fine. You're okay. That's my motto. You're okay. Just you are okay. On. That's right. You guys, it, if nothing else, just avoid the carbohydrates and eat the veggies That's if right. you want them. But whatever you do, if one pivotal thing causes weight gain, it's processed carbohydrates, especially your veggies are your friend, especially green leafies. And Nisha, go out and spend some more money. I'm going to fry some chicken wings probably tonight.